We've been waiting some time for the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS. Wondering, hoping, but at the same time kind of knowing that it might be just a little bit special. But nothing, and I really do mean nothing, could have prepared us Blimey. for this. Now, if the idea of a Porsche Cayman that's fitted with a GT3 engine doesn't really do it for you in any way, then you've probably clicked on the wrong video here, to be quite honest. But essentially, that's what you get from the GT4 RS. A lighter, smaller, more agile version of the GT3 with the same 4-litre flat-six engine. A shorter-geared version of the previous GT3's 7-speed PDK gearbox and a price tag of just 108 grand. Admittedly, the mid-engine Cayman's longer exhaust system does mean you get 10 bhp less than in a GT3, but the red line is still set to 9,000 rpm, and Porsche has tuned the induction system to make the GT4 RS louder where it counts, inside the cabin rather than out, and the results, well, they really do speak for themselves. Right. Second gear, I'm not going to say anything, you're just going to listen. That is chuffing awesome. Wow. It already feels and sounds completely bloody marvellous, this thing. That noise is just outrageous. Five, six, seven thousand. I've got another two thousand revs to go before it starts to get anywhere near the juicy bit. This thing's road legal, is it? The gearbox, this time round. Well, the engine and gearbox, we're talking about a GT3 engine and gearbox in a Cayman. So you can, well, you can try and imagine what that might feel like, but honestly, I can tell you, you can't imagine what it feels like. At 1,415 kilograms, the GT4 RS weighs at least one grown adult less than the GT3. It also doesn't generate just as much downforce as its big brother, nor does it have that car's four-wheel steering. And because of this, perhaps, it definitely feels less digital and more natural in its character, as well as just lighter and more agile on its feet. It's just... about what's going on there but the chassis is also totally trick really quite different from a regular gt4 chassis it's stiffer there's a lot less rubber in pretty much every bit that moves oh i don't know I, I, i'm not quite sure i know what to say about this car everything that i want in a serious driver's car under one roof there is just a little, little bit of understeer. You can really feel it around this last corner, but you can dial that out. The suspension on this thing is eminently adjustable. For once though, I think the way it goes is even more impressive than the way it stops. And that's quite unusual for a push. Honestly, the hairs on the back of my neck are standing up. I'm sweating a bit. My heart is thumping but it's all good. I can't get my head around the fact that this car's got number plates on it. I'm gonna have a go in it on the road in a minute. And I, I can't really fathom how this is going to feel on the road, but I don't care. 
because here, right now, on this track, I think this is the best car I've ever driven. Full stop. Thanks. As standard, the GT4 RS comes with steel brakes, but for an extra five and a half grand, you can upgrade to Porsche's carbon ceramic discs, which, says Porsche, last around 50% longer than the steel discs. Go for the even more expensive forged magnesium rims as well as the carbon brakes, and you'll save around 25 kilograms all up. Plus, there are two different Weissart spec levels to choose from. If you go completely bananas on the options list, you can easily end up with a 135 grand GT4 RS, none of which would be very relevant with a car unusable on the road. But amazingly, it turns out not to be the case at all. I cannot believe how civilized this thing is on the road. I really can't. It's doing my head in how good this car is full stop. Because I've got it in D, I've got the very few controls that there are available to you, all in the most relaxed setting, so I'm not in PDK Sport. I've got the dampers dialed down. I haven't got the loud exhaust on. And you put your foot down in it a little bit, and you just bumble along, and you think, well, this is just pretty much like any other Cayman. The ride, much as it fries my head to say so, the ride is really rather good. Yes, of course, it feels right at the far end of sporting, but I'm not sitting here having to make compromises for it. And then you go like that, you put it in PDK Sport, you press the button to turn the <laughs> exhaust up. And this nutcase from within just gets revealed like that. The transformation is absolutely extraordinary. And it is completely instant and impressive and insane. I, I don't think I've ever driven a car with a broader repertoire between perfectly civilized, perfectly okay, perfectly comfortable to complete and utter madman. So what's really nice about the Cayman GT4 RS on the move, on any road, but particularly a road like this where you, you kind of need to thread it down nicely, is the steering. It's just delightful. The gearbox responds absolutely just, it's brilliant this gearbox, it really is sensational. But if you just pop it in D, then it does it all for you. Chilled up shifts, it's just gone from fifth down to fourth, down to third, back up to fourth, all on its own, no drama, just smooth. Just what you want for a road car. It really does feel like a bit of a final crescendo moment for the atmospherically powered sports car. I don't know, maybe that's going a bit over the top, maybe I'm being a bit melodramatic in saying that, but blimey, this thing is good. Off the dial good. I'm almost as blown away by this as I am by how good it is on the track. But I am going to give it one last go. Some cars leave you wanting more, but not the GT4 RS. You get the distinct impression that Porsche's GT department has left absolutely nothing on the table with this car. Very possibly because they knew that the next Cayman will now be all electric. Either way, the GT4 RS is a true once-in-a-lifetime kind of car. So we should celebrate it, because there will never be anything else like it ever again. Cheers for watching, stay safe, and see you next time.